Saving a life is no easy task. Options for treatment vary based on the severity of injury, the prior health of the patient, the experience of the medical team, and the resources available within the hospital. For over 60 years, doctors relied on ventilators to supply oxygen and remove carbon dioxide when a patient's lungs or respiratory system fail. Ventilators oxygenate the body by forcing air into the lungs through a tube inserted into the trachea. As the ventilator pumps air into the body, the lungs inflate to mimic the process of breathing. When the ventilator finishes delivering a breath and the airway pressure drops, air is exhaled from the body and the lungs deflate. While this mechanical imitation of breathing can achieve the same goals as spontaneous breathing, it is not natural to our bodies and has its own side effects, especially at high pressures and oxygen concentrations. Although doctors don't exactly know at what settings a ventilator's side effects start to cause lung damage, they do know that an alternative treatment called ECMO can reduce injury caused by ventilators and foster lung healing in certain types of diseases. ECMO stands for Extracorporeal Membrane Oxygenation, and it can carry out the work of a patient's lungs, heart, or entire cardiorespiratory system following trauma, infection, or surgery. It works by removing blood from the patient's body, pumping it through an artificial lung where it receives high concentrations of oxygen and carbon dioxide is removed before returning it back to the body. This technology sounds simple in concept. However, it is actually an intricate system that requires a team of specialists to watch over an ECMO response 24 hours per day, sometimes for several weeks. As with most life-saving techniques, ECMO and ventilators each come with pros and cons. Mechanical ventilation is a quicker method for oxygenating a patient. Standard ventilation requires less monitoring than ECMO, but it does come with moderate to heavy sedation and can cause lung injury at high pressures or oxygen concentrations. ECMO allows patients to be awake and moving during their treatment. By eliminating the breathing tube and ventilator, it removes a substantial irritation that drives the need for sedation. ECMO is not without its risks, but these have become more manageable in specialized centers. Texas Children's Hospital is fortunate to have on-site ECMO capabilities, with both the equipment and experienced staff to help a patient who needs assisted breathing, but can't take the strain of being on a ventilator. Texas Children's is an internationally recognized center of excellence for ECMO with advanced experience in this field. For more information, go to texaschildrens.org.